Welcome back. This is type tip number three. Make it big. Too big. What this means is that when scaling a letter or word, it helps create a huge visual impact. It is dramatic and attention grabbing. It sends a message of assertiveness and boldness. And additionally, by scaling a letter or word, it can be used as a design element that is not text. This last part is a little tricky to understand, but once we see an example, we will know exactly what it means. So let's get started. Now I wanted to start off with a little bit of uh, history here. On the left hand side we have a poster by the Russian constructivist movement. On the right hand side we have a poster by uh, the Swiss typographic movement or the international style and we can see that text or type is the main design element and really it is the one that grabs our attention on the left hand side we can see this uh, woman shouting out something I'm not sure exactly what it means but it is something that could be inspiring I'm assuming as the text is the main design element on the right hand side I think it's a little bit more creative in terms of using different techniques to grab attention. Of course, we have the large type with the word null, but we also have these words over or these letters overlapping each other in different colors. And additionally, the opacity or the transparency is reduced, making it legible, which is the most important part right the message getting across to the viewer now just in case you cannot read it along the K we have the word no international but I think the techniques used in this poster make this word no very legible now here are some other posters that I found I know the ones on the right hand side are from the Swiss typographic movement if you're not familiar with it Go ahead and look it up. They use type and text very, very efficiently and beautifully. But let's start over here on the left hand side. Now, again, type is the main design element in all of these examples that I'm showing you. But the scale of it is what brings the attention in. And then you get to add other techniques like reducing the opacity or the transparency overlaying it on top of one another and then choosing some colors from color schemes right blue and orange being complementary colors think about all the sports teams that use blue and orange there's a reason for that now the second poster we have the word jam in there uh, these two posters here in the uh, the red and the blue ones they are by this designer who was inspired by the Swiss typographic movement and he created a whole bunch of band rock band posters in that style uh, go ahead and check it out there's a link in the description but let's let's continue we have the word jam which is not only large in scale but it's also cut off right the letter M is outside of our canvas or our poster and additionally we have the letter a within the j and the m and there's really no confusion as to what this word is but again scale being the most important part of this type now moving on to the blue poster we have uh, this word blur and this is when you get to also use the meaning of the word to your advantage so what they did is they blurred the word blur down they reduced the opacity and then they overlaid it on top of one another but scale once again being the main technique now these two posters on the right pretty straightforward uh, besides using scale to their advantage and as a technique they are also using a grid system we haven't talked about grids yet, 
but it's very noticeable here. Notice how these red words are aligned to the same axis and same over here. Now, this is the only one that uses an image uh, up to this point, but the image is kind of blurry and a little bit um, not well developed, one would say, but that is not the main design element. It is the type, but I think that poster is beautiful overall. Let's move on from posters and talk about books. Now, I think these first three examples are not only great examples of using scale in design, but notice how they use the meaning of the word to create this composition. The first one, the bed moved. There's no confusion as to what the title of this book is. Again, using scale to their advantage, but now they move the letters of the title and they place them throughout. Now, I wish that they would have maybe put the words, the bed moved in a different color of pink, just so that the title would be just a little bit more recognizable, but I think it works perfectly. Now, this middle left one on gravity, sorry about the quality, it was the best quality that I could find. And we have the word gravity that has fallen onto the book and it does what gravity does, which is it, it makes things fall and it puts them out of place. And so another play on the word here, but again, there's no denying as to what the word is. But just in case we have the title up here on gravity. Another thing that I would like to point out from this book cover is that they used all low caps or um, regular caps, not caps lock or capital letters. And I think that's a, a design technique that's uh, underused and underrated. The next book, The Courage of Hopelessness. Now, I bet this designer, when he uh, designed this and he found the word Age of Hope within his original title, I bet he thought he struck gold because this is just genius level design here. The Courage of Hopelessness is the, word, the name of the book. But within the name of the book, this designer was able to find Age of Hope which is the antithesis of the courage of hopelessness. And so that's how then you can play with the meaning of words to your advantage. Another thing I would like to point out in this specific design is how the designer breaks the words up, right? The word courage is broken up into two. The word hopelessness is broken up into three. Again, once you master one, technique you can then start adding other techniques onto your uh, tool belt and make even more dynamic designs which is why we started this type tips uh, series now remember how i said that uh, that last part would be confusing uh, using text as more than a, a design element while well, this is the example right here uh, the word is an object of beauty and the word it itself is big again using scale but within the words we see a texture and patterns and colors and that then becomes another additional technique to use I also found some great web examples that use this technique of a scaling to their advantage all these help to bring the viewer in or to just hold the attention of the viewer for just even two or three seconds longer which can make all the difference um, another example of using type as more than the design element we have the word your brand matters down here and all of the images that are inside again just two 
keep the viewer in engaged for just a few more seconds. And the last slide that I have for you is packaging. Again, using scale, making type big to grab the attention of the viewer, to make it playful, to make it fun is what these uh, companies did. Now, I'm not sure if the first one is something that actually happened or it, it might just be a mock-up, but I, if I were to see this, I would think, oh, wow, this is amazing design in my food packaging of all things who would have thought the middle bag bags of flavor and we can see the word flavor being repeated in different colors again using repetition overlaying the text on top of it reducing the opacity these are all techniques that you can be using in your own designs and the last one i think this one is amazing McDonald's is the word and it's broken up into two or three different uh, lines of text and it's scaled up on the bag just to make it playful, just to make it fun, just to bring the viewer in for even a second or two more and on the cups also and using the different bold colors. I think these are all great packaging uh, designs using this uh, tip of scaling or making type big too big to their advantage and now i'm going to place the sources down below just in case you want to take a look at some of the designs that i put on this uh, presentation um, as always have a great day thank you for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe and all that uh, youtube nonsense Thank you.